everyone, have you ever wanted to add a super cool speed ramping effects into your videos but don't know where to start? Today I am going to show you how to plan and then edit speed ramping effects into your videos. Let's jump right in! First up, we are going to do one of the most eye-catching effects, speed ramping with camera movement. And I'm pretty sure you've seen this before on Instagram or TikTok. To create something like this, we will have our subject standing roughly at the center of the frame while pushing in and pulling out. Now bring the footage into Filmora. We want the camera movement to be fast during the push in and pull out and stay on the subject longer in between. So the speed curve should look like this. Now let's select the footage. Go to the speed tab, then select speed ramping, customize. Clear all the keyframes. I will mark the start and end of each push in and push out in the speed graph. Then change the graph like this. Here it will be faster and here it will be slower. And here's the result. If you want to use speed rumping in multiple shots, this falling one that we're doing is going to be a really good reference for you. To achieve this effect, keep one thing in mind. Maintain consistent movement across all shots. In this case, I'm going to pull out on all the shots. We want the pull out to be fast at the beginning and end of each shot. So the speed graph should look like this. Faster at the front and back and slower in the middle. Select the clip and go to the speed rumping tab. Then select Customize again. Now mark where the slow part starts and end. Change the graph to something like this. Do this for all the clips. Last but not least, slow down the end of the last clip. In the end, we will have the effect ready. While editing, I had this idea that I was super curious about. What if the highest speed in the speed curve is not fast enough for me? And I figured it out. Don't forget that we have a compound clip feature in Filmora, and that is the solution. To show you how to do it, I'll use the landscape sequence as an example. I want to edit these orbiting landscape shots together by speed rumping the rotation of each clip. So let's add the speed rumping first. Create a customized curve and increase the speed of the beginning and end of the clip. Slow down the clip in the middle. The graph will look like this. Familiar, right? However, the beginning and end of each clip isn't fast enough for me in this case. Here's the magic I'm going to show you. Right click on the clip, select Create Compound Clip. Name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Speed Buff. Select the compound clip. Go to the Speed tab, Speed Ramping, Customize. Mark out the end and the start point where the speed is faster. You don't have to be super precise. Then increase the speed of the beginning and end, but make the curve a little bit different this time, just to prevent the speed changing from being too abrupt. Let's leave the middle part of the clip untouched. Repeat the same steps for all the other clips. Now let's look at the timeline. Problem solved. And that's a wrap. Three simple speed ramping tricks that is going to make your video super cool. Whether you're making an epic landscape video or trying to make the next viral video on TikTok. And now I want to hear from you. What is the coolest speed ramping effect you've ever seen or tried? Drop a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe. If you want more editing tips or tricks, let us know in the comments. Thanks for heading out with me today. Keep creating and I'll see you next time.